starting to fail. There was a time when it was thought that the role of self-propelled hoisters gradually faded before rockets, but the reality of recent wars shows that self-propelled hoisters still occupy a certain position. Therefore, many major powers are pursuing projects to develop and upgrade existing self-propelled hoisters. To meet modern combat conditions, the M1299 is an American 155mm self-propelled howitzer developed under the Extended Range Cannon Artillery Program (ERCA), carried out by BAE Systems Corporation to create a self-propelled howitzer system with a higher range and greater fire than the M109 Paladin howitzer. Which entered service in 1963. The American Howitzer Program is also unofficially known as the M109A8. It was officially renamed M1299 in 2019. The M1299 is expected to be produced in limited quantities. By 2022, the M1299 is based on the latest version of the Paladin line, the M109A7, which has been in production since 2013. However, the M1299 can be seen as a completely new system, not an upgraded version of the M109A7. It has a new turret, new chassis. New gun, new automatic ammunition handling system, as well as many other new systems. M1299 self-propelled howitzer weighs 40 tons, similar to the M109A7. It is 11 meters long, 3.9 meters wide, 3.7 meters high. M1299's crew includes four people, commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The M1299 retains the M109A7 track chassis, transmission, tracks, and some other components with the M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle. Such similarity allows to reduce production, operation, and maintenance costs. The vehicle is equipped with armor, which protects against more arms fire and artillery shell splinters. It is also equipped with automatic fire extinguishing system and NBC protection. M1299 Howitzer is equipped with Cummins diesel engine, producing 600 horsepower capacity. It can reach a maximum road speed of 60 km per hour, range of 320 km. The M1299 Howitzer is armed with a new 155mm L58 caliber XM907 gun that will fire the XM1113 rocket assisted round, which will increase the reach of the gun. From the 38 kilometers of the existing M109A7 Paladin gun to over 70 kilometers, the XM1113 is expected to replace the current US M549A1 ammunition. It uses rocket technology to deliver greater thrust to the rail when compared to its predecessor. The M1299 has a fully automatic ammunition loading system, which increases the rate of fire from 3 rounds per minute on the M109A7 to 10 rounds per minute. The US is developing another new guided projectile called the XM1115, which will be used 
by the M1299. It is designed to respond to modern threats for guidance without using GPS data. This will allow hitting targets with high precision in application of enemy electronic warfare and satellite signals. SM1155 is designed to reach a range of 100 to 120 km and even more. The XM1155 has tail rocket models and large tail control surfaces and resembles a rocket rather than a standard artillery projectile. This projectile is being propelled to a high altitude where the drug is slow and glides on its target. The M1299 prototype is equipped with a roof-mounted 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The modernized version will be equipped with either a 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic relay launcher with a remotely controlled weapon station. The howitzer is capable of multiple rounds simultaneous impact firing. It can launch up to around 8 projectiles that land on a target simultaneously. This creates a powerful surprise effect on the enemy. The M1299 is also equipped with a new fire control system as well as a communication system that can operate in noisy GPS environments. According to media reports, around the world, similar self-propelled howitzer systems include South Africa's G652, US XM2001 Crusader, US35 Coalitia SV of Russia, and China's PLC-52. The US military hopes that, after being modernized, the M299 systems can hit targets from a distance of 100 km, turning it into a longest range 155mm Super Hawizer has ever built. With the latest upgrade packages, the M299 is set to increase combat power to 10 times its predecessor through a combination of increased range, rate of fire, damage ability, reliability, and survivability to a counter-attack. M1299 is expected to ensure U.S. superior firepower on the battlefields in the future. My video of M1299 self propel Howitzer and Sear. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.